Dear friends, for the month of May, the month of Mary, let us meditate daily on the invocations of her litany, daily litany to Our Lady. Please donate to help us restore Mary's Church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Go to gofundme.com slash restore-immaculate. Let us crown Our Lady this May as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. Sixth Consideration Pate de Ceris Deus, God the Father of Heaven. Whose daughter art thou? Tell me. First Point The first question put by the servant of Abraham to the newly elected spouse Rebecca was, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me. The very same question, through the text inscribed at the foot of this picture, is as it were also put to Mary, and a triple answer is given to it. For the Heavenly Father says to Mary, Be glad, O daughter. Mary says, Our Father, who art in heaven, and the Church says, Hail, daughter of God the Father. These words render it sufficiently apparent whose daughter she is, they clearly indicate her to be the daughter of God the Father. Second point. Therefore, Mary, as the daughter of God the Father, can justly say of herself, I was set up from eternity. These words are interpreted by the Church as indicative of her excellencies and prerogatives. If indeed we duly consider the genealogy of Mary and all the wonderful endowments with which she is gifted, we shall readily acknowledge that she should be called the daughter of heaven rather than of earth, because by heaven's special favor she was the offspring of an unfruitful mother and was replete with every heavenly gift and grace. Third point. Since Mary then is the favorite daughter of the Divine Father, the most beloved mother of the Divine Son, and the most glorious spouse of the Holy Ghost, she has been thereby elevated to the highest grade of honor, a grade of honor than which no mere creature has ever attained a higher, nor possibly ever shall attain to. This is to us a source of great consolation, for as the daughter, mother, and spouse of God, she opens to us a triple entrance to the throne of grace and glory. Prayer O God, the Creator of heaven and earth, who merely through an act of thy mercy broughtest forth man from a state of nothingness, and in addition didst form him to the image and likeness of God, it grieves me, and I lament from the bottom of my heart that by my sins I should have so disgracefully disfigured my soul, this most precious image of God. Grant, I beseech thee, that such torrents of bitter tears may so continuously stream from my eyes that eventually they may wash away every stain of sin in my soul. I earnestly solicit this from thee through thy daughter, Mary. God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. If you have enjoyed this meditation, please donate to help us restore Mary's Church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Go to gofundme.com slash restore-immaculate. Let us crown Our Lady this May as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. May God bless you for your generosity.